Yo, what's up guys? This is Unpunk. We're bringing you a freaking awesome video here today on how you're going to unlock and acquire the pommel within World War II Zombies The Tortured Path Map 2, which is called Across the Depths. This is going to first require you to most likely, you're going to want to get to probably around round 7 as you go through this. And we're going to take you through all the steps. So on round 1, you're going to want to get the battery that's right next to pack punch on the left side next to it there is a little battery you melee it and it's going to give you this hallucination mode you're then going to go around you can see it right there in the corner next to me you're going to go around and shoot all of these different fish locations which you'll see here on the video there's a total of nine of them if you guys don't catch them all your first time don't stress you guys can always restart because the map only has 10 rounds so it doesn't take too long to do if you need to restart you need to make sure you're hallucinating with all of your players though on round one so that away on round two you can go ahead and start doing all of these different fish locations as there is nine of them and they will not spawn until a round after you had every single team member in your game do this little hallucination effect. So I'm showing off all nine locations right now. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My voice is giving out of me. I'm getting a little under the weather here. I haven't apparently been getting enough sleep or not been uh, taking enough on rest myself. But this is going to show all the nine locations. Next, what's going to happen is right out here on the deck towards the area where you fill the first part for pack punch, it's going to spawn a red fish. You're just going to follow. It's a pretty simple path, pretty noticeable fish to follow. It's going to take you into the same path every single time, just like how the nine locations for the fishes that you were shooting just a second ago are going to be in the same locations. Again, this is going to show where you can grab one of the Uber Schallen, I don't know how to say it, the batteries, just like from the final Reich. They're going to appear, and you're going to purchase it for 3,000 points, and you're just going to bring it right over here to this first location and start filling up souls for this. I'd recommend it bringing in shell shot class with determination to give yourself armor as you can't buy armor in this map or any of the three as well as sustained zones so that we can keep zombies back for a little while. You're going to take probably 20 to 25 zombies from my experience. I could have counted wrong. It's all wonky time right now, so don't hold me specifically to that number, but it's going to take probably about 20, I'd say, on each of these three sections. So you're going to want to do these as you're going through the rounds. I would not worry about them during the objective rounds, so three, six, and nine. You shouldn't have to worry about nine at all. Right there is one of the locations. Right there in front of me, next to that pack-a-punch charger, will be another location for this battery where it can spawn. Another one is right as you're going past the starter weapon wall by on your left hand side before the stairs. If you guys know the map, you should know where that is. Another location is right here next to the quick revive machine where you can buy another one. And I'm just going to show off the ones I know. And I believe that's four out of five locations. And the last one will spawn somewhere next to where the fish spawns, but just kind of hanging off the side. From my understanding, there's only five locations, and there's going to be three possible ones that you're going to have in your game. Right there in front of you, to the left there of the stairs, right before you go down the stairs, that's where one of them is, which I just went through. The third location is right there for charging it. No, I'm going a little fast as I don't want to keep you guys hung up too long, but you're literally just going to go and fill 20 souls in each of those three locations. You're then going to get teleported, so make sure you guys pack a bunch. Pack a punch, pack a punch, pack a punch before you go into this section so that way you guys are ready to go for this. You're going to have to do a little parkour, so make sure you don't fall off because if you guys fall off, as you see there, you get killed and you get brought back. You're going to have to kill yourself and self-revive or have another player kill themselves self-revive to get themselves back up. You're then going to go through three little fights on each of these three platforms you're going to do. Pretty simple. The first one's got a Wooseling. And it's got some zombies. We didn't have any pack punch guns, so we were using our shell shock and just going through with our guns. And we did it pretty fine with little perks. The platforms are going to appear on the second one a little wonky, so make sure, again, you guys are being careful on those jumps. Don't fall off, because if you fall off, you're going to either have to self-revive or have another player kill themselves so they can go there and use a self-revive. 
etc because of the fact that you can't jump backwards so the only way you can get back to the previous platform is jumping backwards and killing yourself and using a self revive this third jump is a little foggy at first so make sure you're very careful on that as it's going to be pretty tricky to make some of these jumps it's kind of like cheese cube if you've played that it's a good little reference um i'd say and good practice on things like that so i've actually been practicing my parkour skills on zombies so I've been getting good. You're gonna get a little cutscene kind of talk narrative by one of the characters here at each of these before you start fighting zombies, but I don't wanna ruin that for you guys, so I'm not including that here in the video. I'll let you guys experience that for yourself. Um, once you get through those three phases, it's basically like you're traveling through the previous three maps. Um, basically Middleburg all the way through DLC 1 and 2. Pretty cool, you get some storyline stuff in there. I'm not gonna, again, ruin it. But now you see this fish again, this red fish, and you're gonna wanna pay attention to the bucket that it goes into. Luckily, I had my eye on it, and it was pretty easy the first one. So you're just gonna go up and you're just gonna shoot it when you watch it and figure out which one it is. It's gonna pop out the fish, you are good to go for stage one. I recommend pulling your character back like you'll see here on stage two and three that I do. I pull my character back a little bit, so that way you can see the angle better of the fish so that when these things move, because each time you do it, you're going to get more and more buckets that are going to appear and you're gonna want to make sure you're seeing the right one. I obviously shot the wrong one right there, so it definitely made it so that you failed. Luckily, when you failed, it doesn't set you back. It just throws a whistling at you, or whistling, sorry. Just gonna knock them down real quick pretty easy to do and um, you're gonna go right back and then you're gonna do it again it won't set you back to the first one it will just set you back to the second one so pretty easy to continue on from where you are luckily I got the second one pretty easy I found a good little angle here on it I pulled back way far so I could see all five of them that spawn in during this one I believe it's three five and then seven or eight for the last one last one's very very hard so make sure you have your a game on for that this is basically going to be the last step before you get the pommel it will teleport you back at the end which you'll see in a second but basically i wanted to show this off my buddy corvor here got the last one i don't know how he saw it this thing goes so fast it's absolutely crazy if you guys have a recording device on your computer i recommend recording it and watching it back real quick i don't believe there is a time limit on it so that's basically going to be all of these steps I hope this made sense for you guys and was easily easily explained. If you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you guys get this pommel, get this secret weapon camo that you get, as well as unlocking the Easter egg or completing the Easter egg for this map, which you're then going to have to go along and finish the entire 10 rounds and beat the boss to be completed and get it checked off. That's going to get you across the depths, completed your weapon camo and your pommel. This has been your friendly neighbor at Unpunk. We're going to catch you guys real soon. Peace.